to do the peg what I'm doing now is I printed out the um, template for the peg position I have my uh, pegs uh, ready I took basically the pegs I put a piece of masking tape in the middle and I uh, um, glued them to a piece of, of wood then I took them out back and I painted them with white then I painted them with a different color this is just so it would pop up uh, uh, when I'm coming in for a landing uh, I really like the, the fact that that the blade isn't black I see this much better everyone has their preference of color some don't care at all some want some uh, some different color uh, but if you do spray paint it you need to do first white and then the color otherwise it will just blend into the uh, black carbon and uh, you won't be able to see it so I painted with white then I painted with color now I make the hole in the template I see that it's about the size of the peg and I take a piece of masking tape and I put it where the peg should go and I position um, <coughs> I position the template over the uh, the wing and using a marker I mark where the hole needs to be now I have my uh, marking right where I need to uh, uh, dremel a hole. Now there are several ways to do a, a, a hole. One is to just use a bit of a, of a dremel and, uh, and carve into it. Another one is to take a, um, a drill and just drill several holes and eventually you end up having to use a file. Uh, I end up using one of the a, a, a partly rounded file and then I would just finish off the shape once I reach the shape I will start test fitting the, the peg I don't want to push it in hard I want to uh, otherwise it will scrape the paint off uh, but eventually I will find uh, uh, the size uh, that the peg fits uh, I want to do it as snugly as possible and then I will uh, CA it in and reinforce it with the uh, uh, carbon. I'm going to skip this a little bit and I will show you the uh, later stages just to save some time. So I made the slot for the peg. Uh, not only did I open a slot for the peg but I also um, uh, I took a bit of the paint off it really hurts to take some of the paint off but it's needed in order to uh, get a good bond when I put some epoxy the peg goes in uh, without scraping the paint and it's it has about mm, a few tenths of a millimeters of slack I uh, basically glue my pegs so that when the wing is parallel to the ground with the dead rail angle and everything the peg is 90 degrees so uh, uh, in reference to the uh, wing surface it's a bit slanted it's straight and a bit slanted everyone does things a little bit differently there are a lot of talks about lengths of fingers and everything uh, and, and stuff like that I do what works for me and what has worked for me for several uh, years so I'm uh, keeping the same uh, um, uh, basic uh, setup and geometry uh, the same so now I will glue this with a little bit of thick CA um, I will add some uh, a couple of drops of 
thick CA just to hold it in place. Then I will add some thin CA from the other side to position it. I will then uh, mix some uh, structural epoxy, some good, uh, uh, good structural epoxy, and then I will do a, um, a, a sort of a, a corner around the peg from the top and the bottom so that it has a bit more a, a bond, a bit better bond and to support it so that it doesn't a, a loosen up over time. And I've been doing this for years and this is what works for me. You'll find a lot of other theories a, about ways to do it. And here is the peg after I added some uh, epoxy with some um, pigment so it would look uh, uh, black, be a little bit more aesthetic. So I have this uh, rounded uh, uh, fillet uh, to um, that increases the the. Uh, Peg's ability to resist the uh, bending, so it doesn't get dislodged, so that it also spreads the the loads a little bit better around uh, its attachment point. And here you can see uh, the slight angle that uh, I put into the peg. And again, this is what works for me. Everyone. Uh, finds out what works for them best.